Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 21 day fasting. And it's good to see everybody doing well. Um, we pray that today God will use today's session to be a blessing to us. Amen. 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 So, yeah, we figured it's always wise, sure. We keep the momentum going spiritually um, for the sake of the kingdom, your soul as well, too. And um, <clears throat> a lot of people probably took time to get back into eating. I saw one of um, my church members, which I didn't repost. That's why everything y'all yeah, tagged me to. Mm. She had a meme that says that she's eating as she sees. I see. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's not as funny as it was. This is not the way we're supposed to be going. Um, we're supposed to be more spiritual about some things um, in order to get our breakthrough and maintain our deliverance, all mm. those things. And so I think um, it's appropriate to talk about it. Amen. 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 So before we start, let's pray as yes. we mm -hmm. uh, let's invite the presence of God in our yes. midst. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. Uh, we thank you that you are with us. You've been with us. We thank you for today. Uh, we, as we have gathered here, may this atmosphere be become uh, become Mount Zion, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray that you will speak, that your presence be here. Mm -hmm. May the blood continue to sprinkle upon us in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will give us more revelations, mm -hmm. uh, more understanding of your word in Jesus' name. Spirit, you are welcome in our midst in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. 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 So today we wanted to deal with what to expect after. Well, I should have laid my edges. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Fine, babe. <laughs> <laughs> what to expect after a fast? I think it's need to learn. It's always good to fast. But you've got to be able to know what to expect after mm -hmm. a fast is over. Because that is when the enemy shows up. And if you don't have knowledge, I would say for lack of knowledge, my people perish pray that, you know, you will have more knowledge about what to expect so that you cannot gain advantage over your life. Amen. Amen. And so um, after a fast like this, people tend to back to their, the, the way they started. Mm -hmm. Let's say you started on Zoom and if, during the fast, the Lord took you up. After the fast, we tend to regress. We, we tend to go back mm -hmm. to our norm, which is not good. The fast is supposed to help you to step up in the spirit mm -hmm. and then after the fast you must continue to climb mm -hmm. amen it must become a, a routine in your life where you are climbing up mm -hmm. retrogress amen most people will stop going to church for a while as if god is genie yeah genie in a box. we will say oh i prayed all the prayers i could pray in the year mm -hmm. and so therefore i'm not going to more I'm prayers uh we've seen that in many people's i mean in churches all the time anytime bible uh, the revival will come. The next week you go, nobody's at church. Yeah. People are. And not just KFT, in general. In general. As a whole, the church of Christ, this Christ. is what we do. Yeah, yeah, please. All right. And so there are certain situations that happen in the Bible that we can learn from, help us to understand, uh, to know what to do after we fast. Amen. So we can, the first one that we want to deal with is deal with Jesus after he did his 40 day fast. Mm -hmm. What took place in Jesus' life. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to read Matthew chapter 4, I believe. Uh, Matthew chapter 4, mm -hmm. uh, verse 1. It said, Then was Jesus led up to the, led, led the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had 40 days and 40 nights, mm -hmm. he was afterwards unhungered. Amen. And verse 3. And when the tempter came, he said, if be the son of God, command that these stones be made bre bread. He said, and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of God. Then the devil taking him up into the city, into the holy city, set him on, on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him, if thou be the son of God, self down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge in thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at, at any thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yes. And Jesus, Jesus said unto him, Written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. 
again they dug him up into an what exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdom of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou worship. Then leave him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. This is very interesting. Uh, at this time, Jesus had been baptized by John. The, the confirmation have come, the endorsement, the public um, recommend, you know, God has endorsed him. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And he, the Holy Ghost take him all the way to the wilderness and he fasted 40 days. Now, after 40 days, the Bible said that he was hungry. So that means that he was done with the fasting and showed up. Satan ended up showing up. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we can learn from this scripture or from Jesus' story, that right after a fast, there's somebody called who will show up. Mm -hmm. They will always find his way back into your life to tempt you, to come back and attack you again. Come back and show up and tempt you. And so here, Jesus was tempted three times after he finished the fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we have to be in the mood of expectation that, yeah, right after a fast, the enemy will try to show up. Mm -hmm. And so we repair ourselves by the word of God. You know, what we have learned and say that, no, Satan, whatever you are trying to bring to me is not going to work. Mm -hmm. We have to be very, very careful. We have, to be, we have to have the spirit of discernment to know, that, to know how the enemy come into our lives, mm -hmm. especially after a fast. Mm -hmm. Don't be naive. And think that you are just going to be going through it and it's going to be easy. Satan will find his way back and mm -hmm. try to tempt you, try to get you to lose everything mm -hmm. that you fasted for within the 21 days or the 40 days. No matter what fast you do. All right. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful to see. So Satan, Satan showed up three times and Jesus defeated him three times. And then he left. Amen. And guess what happened? Angels came and ministered to him. So what didn't come before Satan showed up? Mm -hmm. But the angels came after. That means that the breakthrough actually show up after you are passed the test. If you don't pass, then the angels will not bring the response. Remember, angels bring responses to prayer. The thing that Jesus prayed for for the 21, 41, 40 days, the angels, they ministered to him. That means they brought the response. And then he was ready to come up. And when he came out, Bible said that his fame was spread abroad. Why? Because he has passed the tests, and then the answer of God given to him before he left the mountain. And so this is something for us to learn. And so don't fall, don't fall in the trap of the enemy it will come for you. You need to know that okay, after a fast, I need to prepare my mind. People are gonna mistreat me, people are gonna say things that will cause me to say things that I shouldn't say. All part of the enemy showing up in your life. We have to be able to pass these tests. And once we pass it, the answer to the prayer will come. Yeah, and just to piggyback off of it, it's very important for you to know this kind of information because the enemy will always strike the job. And so sometimes people are so surprised when the enemy strikes. Mm. But once you know the word, once you are a good steward of the word, you know the scriptures, you are stories in the Bible, you'll realize that it is Satan's agenda to attack you. His agenda. Remember in the book of Revelations, when um, when the lady was given, it says the woman was given birth. The, the dragon did not show up when she was pregnant. She mm. showed up when the baby was coming. Mm. And so you have to always know that at the point of breakthrough, Satan will always show up. Mm. And when he shows up, he's not here to tickle your toes here to shake you and that's why you know that after a prophetic word a shaking word. Mm -hmm. but God being so good if you have mounted up yourself like did appropriately you will be able to withstand by the grace of God and be able to uh, uh, end the plans and the woes of the enemy Jesus. but if you fall and that's why it's important that after a go back into binge eating that's why after a fast it's important that you do into gossiping it's important that you don't go back to a certain lifestyle. We should live a fasted life, if any. 
Men shall not, Jesus said that men shall not eat what? Live by bread, Live by bread alone, mm -hmm. but by bread that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So mm -hmm. that was Jesus telling them, because the enemy first temptation. Mm -hmm. And so if you are just indulging in food right after you finish a fast, mm -hmm. that means you are falling into that temptation. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you, your spirit man should be rejecting food anyway. Your body should not be too eager to eat because you haven't been eating as much during for uh, during twenty one days. Mm -hmm. So that means that your body should be able to keep itself mm -hmm. because you put it through a training. You can tame the body and say, "Okay, I'm you." Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be like you know engulfing in food and just eating everything because that is what you can live by. You can yeah, live, yeah. We got to be careful with these things. And so we have several different fast that we all should know about at least you know in this level of christianity you even have to you know know the deep things but there are certain things in the bible that you should be aware of the fasts that are notable in the bible are moses when he fasted while preparing to receive the ten that was deuteronomy 9 9 9 to 18 also he lasted when he was in physical danger from jezebel Times, that's why the Lord will allow certain things to happen to you because that's the only guaranteed way that you will come back to him. So it's not God that is uh, projecting evil on you, but he allowed it much like Job because he knows that, you know, I need you to get close to me. So some, it's in our benefit to be shaken a little bit by the enemy. Um, Esther also for the safety of the Jews, Esther 4, verse 15 to 17. And then we also have Daniel fasted when he needed revelation and an answer to a prayer. So look at the different types of people who fasted and their different reasons that causes the believer to always want to fast. fast. It's true. Fasting helps you. Uh, fasting, because we cannot attain the spiritual things without mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. That's why when Jesus came, he gave us things that he expected us to do. He mm -hmm. said, when you fast and when you pray. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to prayer, it's a matter of when. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of if. Mm -hmm. Okay? He's expecting you as his follower to fast. Mm -hmm. He's expecting you as his follower to pray. Mm -hmm. He said, to pray and not faint. He said, when you fast, do this and that. Mm -hmm. So that the is part of our walk mm -hmm. that as a child of God, it should be part of your life. Because what when you fast, what happens is that it opens up your spirit mm -hmm. for, for your spirit to be able to connect to God, God. correctly. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, God can, but it is not God that is not speaking. It's mm -hmm. us that are not hearing him. Mm -hmm. And so when your spirit man is wide open fasting, mm -hmm. it opens you up to connect to heaven mm -hmm. that quick. And you're able to be in a mm -hmm. and God can pass his messages through you. God can do a lot through you. That can cause you to attain things that he has for you. Mm -hmm. And so fasting kind of help us. It kind of mm -hmm. give us a boost mm -hmm. to be able to do spiritual things. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, because, yes, uh, our blessings, our breakthrough, uh, everything about our lives is already in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's in the, in the heaven. So you need, to be, uh, you need to be able to go in there to take it. Mm -hmm. That is why people may think it is because I fasted that I got this. Mm -hmm. It's not a fast. It's you being in alignment in the spirit to mm -hmm. be able to take what belongs to you. Mm -hmm. Because God has already been your marriage. Yeah. As more about the prophet gave you a word a long time ago concerning your marriage. Mm -hmm. So you know that it's all about your business. It's, your business is already there. The God has already ordained that mm -hmm. from the day you were born before. And those things were in place for you. Mm -hmm. But the problem, the reason why you are not, you know, you are not seeing it in your, is because your spirit man cannot take that take it because it's, it is in this so when we fast it kind of helps us to spiritually take what belongs to us i want you to talk a bit more alignment i think that is going to be many of your word um everyone needs an anchor word many of you i'm telling you that your anchor word is alignment you have to be aligned with whatever Spiritual it is things. yeah it, it, alignment is being on that and being it basically uh you, you, bible said that you know, Jesus, God is the head of Christ, mm -hmm. and Christ the church, mm -hmm. and the church, um, um, and and then the church, uh, uh, the, the the man is under Christ, mm -hmm. and the woman under the man. So mm -hmm. that it's alignment. Mm -hmm. We got to be in alignment, mm -hmm. and they'll just do flow from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I always say that if 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 you are not in alignment, mm -hmm. you receive what is coming from mm -hmm. top the top. Mm -hmm. All right, God is God is in the spirit. God is the spirit. 
if we are going to receive things from him, we have to be in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay? We have to be in the spirit. So when we fast, it helps us to be in aligned, to be aligned with him, see what he's given us. Because he wants to deal with our spirit, mm -hmm. but our spirit is not there. Because we are too busy eating and mm -hmm. fornicating and doing all those things. And lying and, and so, and and so gossiping. The, the moment we... we and twerking. We, yes. The moment... And dancing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The moment, the moment we see ourselves and consecrate ourselves and say, you know what? We are going to pray. We are going to fast. It helps our spirit man to reconnect back. So this is why... When in a marriage, if the husband is under, the, it doesn't work. It doesn't. Or if God is the third in command, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It does. So important. I think um, it's it's very. We have to understand this. This thing it flows from the top. Now, mm -hmm. if God is the one on top mm -hmm. and He's in the middle, mm -hmm. then the one will never receive. Receive. Yeah. You understand. Mm -hmm. So in the same thing with marriage, how can the wife top? The oil is now is flowing from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the, if the husband is at the bottom, let's say, let me just make an example. Oil will be dripping from the bottom. Mm -hmm. It will and never be come. It will be a waste. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to be in our line, mm -hmm. right? We have to be in line. We have to, we have to align ourselves with Christ. We have to obey him. And once we do that, if, mm -hmm. and he, that, he, he says that in, um, in, in John chapter 15, he said, I am the vine and you are this. Mm -hmm. He said the same way that the branch cannot bear fruit without the vine, so you cannot bear fruit without me. And so the moment you connect yourself with Jesus, the, 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 the anointing, whatever it is you to bear fruit will begin to flow through oh. you. Mm -hmm. But if I break the branch off, then I'll feed through it. Mm -hmm. All right? That's why there is such a disconnect in America, even in our society, where, yes, women are more aggressive than men, we do want to learn more. We do. We are in positions. We are populating schools more. But that doesn't mean when you come home and you are in a marriage, you top a husband. Because like Pastor is saying, if the oil is supposed to drip in a certain manner, have now overcome your husband, then you can only imagine that your marriage will not is not in alignment and it's supposed to drip for you to be a powerful woman of God, a power businesswoman, a powerful teacher of the word, a powerful whatever it is that you desire to be. It happened. And so a lot of people are being resisted. Men are being resisted. Mm. Women are being resisted. Because if you're a man and you know that you're supposed to arise and you are having your wife arise and do everything always absent-minded and this and that, of course there's always going to be misalignment. That is why important for us to know our roles in marriage, which is not to be confused with our roles outside in, in the real world. When I go outside, if I'm a businesswoman, I'm negotiating like a boss. I'm making sure this is very tangible. You can hear me loud and clear. But when I'm negotiating with my husband, it's a whole different. I have to make sure I'm respecting him. I don't, you know, voice over him. I don't things that I know is disrespectful and can cause an argument in our marriage because I desire for the flow appropriately so my life don't have to be stressed by no devil. You know? and, 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 and it's amazing how if you stay in alignment, mm -hmm. uh, you see how there are things that you don't really need to pray for mm -hmm. that will be coming in, in, into mm -hmm. your family. Mm -hmm. uh, and also for the young ones, you know, mm -hmm. those that are young, mm -hmm. you're living with your mother, you got to be in alignment. Mm -hmm. you got to be obedient to them. And you got to make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to do at home. Mm -hmm. um, there are many people that are, they disregard their, their, their duties mm -hmm. and they want to be spiritual. You are mm -hmm. missing the point. The Bible said that to be obedient is better, better than sacrifice. How can you come to the house and your house is dirty and your mom is telling you your house is dirty and you haven't cleaned it, but you want to come to God? and clean it when God has entrusted your parents to you. Those things don't make sense. That's why I'm saying that the season truly is going to be alignment for a lot of us because that will keep you in check. That, whoa, have I supposed to do as a child, as a mom, as a dad, as a husband, as a wife, as a father, as a preacher? Doing that. And once you realize, wow, I'm out of alignment, therefore the train cannot move 
See, if a track goes off course, the train cannot continue to go. Unfortunately, the train will be at a halt mm. until the track goes back in alignment with the other tracks. And so many of you will be stopped tracks if you do not, if you are not in proper alignment. Mm. It's extremely important. And that's why some people, how can you respect your pastor but disrespect your husband? You're out of alignment. You are out of alignment. Those things are out of alignment. And whatever preacher tells you to go against certain things, it's a no-no, especially if your husband, let's say your husband is in God, he doesn't know much as you, and your pastor's like, no, you're going on this tre retreat phase, and your husband's like, no, I want to be with you. You know that's out of alignment. And anybody who preaches that, it's a false God. Now, it's different if your pastor's saying, listen, there's some spiritual things that need to be broken, and I really want you to go and speak to your husband and tell him that, you know, the church is going on this, and you need to come along. That kind of stuff is different. But you cannot be disrespectful. How can I disrespect? and go and respect my spiritual father. That doesn't make sense. That's why you got to marry a good man. <laughs> a whole nother, that's another <laughs> lie. If you don't marry a Christian, then this is the problem. Yeah, that's the issue. Then you are two different ways mm -hmm. because then God said yes. Go on the retreat. Go on the retreat, but your husband go to party. So then where hey. do I go? Party. All right. Party. All right. So this is, this is why party. we cannot just marry anything. The Bible said that how can two walk together? They agree. Mm. So there has to be an agreement, they, and and also he said that don't don't uh, on, don't 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 prove it. On, on, don't be unequally, unequally yoked. yoked. And so there are many people that are unequally yoked. You are, mm -hmm. When it comes to your spiritual life, you are not equal. Mm -hmm. the, the the person that you are married is now on the same level or doesn't even understand what you do. So when you marry, you know that it's going to create problems. All right. I really I'm going to try to do three p.m.s more often by God's grace, only by God's grace. But I really want about one day being unequally yoked. I think that's a very good, you know, because the worst, I'm telling you, the worst thing that could have ever happened to me is for pastor to have been a party promoter. I'm sorry. It will uh, abort your destiny and it will abort everything that God wants to do. That and party it will promoters kill you. are bad. No, it I'm just saying for me, it would have killed you. In alignment. It would actually killed your not it will kill everything no, about you i know what would have happened that's what be here right now yeah. Yeah. so if you know that you are now you, you are called into ministry mm -hmm. don't go and marry somebody who's mm -hmm. because it will create a problem and don't think that you can change them until god changes them they are not mm -hmm. they're not going to be changed mm -hmm. all right and so we have to be careful uh, about how we get married and how, uh, all those things and once. Then I'll be the first lady of Zongo Zongo party promoters <laughs> or something. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> nah, I'm good. All right. So it's very very <laughs> important um, that we 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 both align ourselves yeah. before God. What were you about to say? The young ones. I keep cutting you off. Yeah, Sorry. the young ones. You are doing the things that you're supposed to do at mm -hmm. home. You no not no not, none of your parents should be able to complain about you. Mm -hmm. The, the amount of spiritual knowledge you have now mm -hmm. didn't allow even your father or your mother to say things mm -hmm. complaining about at home mm -hmm. because that means that you are not doing what you are supposed mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. As a young girl, as a young man, you are you are respectful at home. Make sure that you are helping in the house. Make sure you, 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 you are hands-on mm -hmm. when it comes to the house. Mm -hmm. So when you leave, I mean, your father can mm -hmm. actually testify good about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, the parents are calling to complain, mm -hmm. and that should not happen. So make sure that you are doing what you are supposed to do mm -hmm. at home, so that you know when you come to do the things of God, also receive what you are doing. Yeah. Because if you didn't do it at home, why are you doing it here? Yeah. Is you inauthentic? Yes. And we don't like. All right. That. Respect your parents. Learn how to communicate. Most of you don't like to communicate, and if you don't learn it now, it will affect you when you get to when you get it, uh, because. Your spouse is going to be like the parent that you want to communicate to. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, what you show at home is exactly what you're going to bring to church. Mm -hmm. And when you, what you bring to church is exactly what you're going to bring in your marriage. You will mm -hmm. see those things showing up in every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. And so we need to make sure that we are doing the right. It's hard to, for you to communicate with your mother. I bet you it will be hard for you to communicate with you. If it's hard for you to communicate with your father, 
I bet you it's going to be hard for you to communicate with your husband. Mm -hmm. Start here. Start yeah. at home. And so learn it now. Preparation for marriage when at home. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are communicating. Yeah. Um, everything that you have to communicate, you will see how, how things, it, it will actually prepare you to become a better person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so um, I see many of you guys are laughing at my Zongo comment. Like, can you imagine pastor throwing up signs talking about come to the party <laughs> Friday, 12-hour party instead of a 12-hour prayer marathon? <laughs> like, where would I be in life? Not the life that I wanted to live. Jesus. Mercy, Jesus. Lord. Jesus. ka ta, -ta. Oh, Jesus. Right, so these are things mm. we need to expect. Yeah. I guess, yeah, you know, being in alignment is a great thing. And fasting helps us to be in alignment mm -hmm. uh, so we can, can attain spiritual things. Mm -hmm. The battles are won in a spirit that appears physical. Jesus won the battles uh, on the mountain for 40 days. And he won, he won against the enemy before he stepped out to the city. Mm -hmm. And so the moment he overcame the enemy, he the fast, mm -hmm. and the angels brought the response to his prayers and ministered to him. Mm -hmm. He stepped out. Mm -hmm. Bible said that his fame went abroad. abroad. Mm -hmm. So famous and... and People are accepting your ministry. Mm. Uh, it's not a matter of, it's people that have paid the price here. You see that Jesus paid the price in fasting. Mm -hmm. and, and God, through that, expanded his ministry. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with, um, you know, everything else that we receive, everything else that we do. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that he will even enter in the street and demons begin to run. Mm -hmm. And they will begin to say, uh, have you come to us before our time? Mm -hmm. What happened? Because Jesus has already overcame them. And so when he step out afraid of him, you know, demons are going to bow to you because of the price that you are in the secret place. And Jesus did pay the price in the secret place and provide grace upon his life to fulfill his destiny. Yes. And so if you are going to fulfill your destiny, learn to also fast. Learn how to pray. It's a matter of when. He said when you fast, when you pray expecting you to do it, and you must do it as a child of God. Men shall not be bread alone, but every, every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And so we, when, the moment we are love in this with this scripture, we move in power just like Jesus moved in power. Amen. And speaking of words, so we now know that once you fast, that the enemy will come and tempt you. Um, so power, that is the, the, that's something that the, the Lord gives us a spiritual account in heaven and the way to keep your authority uh the power in Jesus that you have is to live this fasted life that we're talking about we all have a account of prayers of of all sorts of things and the way you keep it is to make sure that you are staying steadfast when it comes to your prayer life fasting life um if you know that and this is a test and i spoke about if you know that someone just tried you in the past two days, went off on that person, you didn't truly fast. Because your spirit man should be to know that this was the enemy coming to me, and this is how I withstand the enemy. Mm. And you know that you have been tested, tried in these past two days, and you failed, you actually back into a fast tomorrow. Mm. Mm. You actually need to go back into a fast tomorrow. And you do it for the rest of the week, and then you come back. And when the enemy comes again, and he tries you again, and you respond like that, you go back into another fast. And you keep doing that until finally, when you come fast, and the enemy tries you, much like Jesus, you won't fall for it, mm. but you're able to withstand it by the grace of God. Mm. And then you'll know that, wow, I'm really, really fasted life mm. where I'm so in tune with God where I know that this person coming is coming me something so I won't even you know be annoyed at work if you have been tested and you fail by giving off an attitude cursing somebody out yeah you need to go back into fasting tomorrow it helps mm. and when you fast and you are praying you know mm -hmm. what actually it cures it actually cures your mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. most of the things that we are not receiving is because we don't believe that mm -hmm. we can receive mm -hmm. it by the time and pray it kind of cures it. Mm -hmm. it, build, it boosts our faith mm -hmm. in God to be able to do whatever it is that we mm -hmm. him to do. Mm -hmm. And that is why the enemy comes for you. Mm -hmm. He will come and tempt you. Uh, he will come and say things that mm -hmm. provoke you. Mm -hmm. He will show up in your dreams. Mm -hmm. he, that you, yes, that spiritual attack will come. Uh, it, it will, there will be a retaliation from the, the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. I know somebody that fasted 40 days dry. 
And right after that, he went and raped a girl. See, this is what I'm talking about. And 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 it's like it aborted everything. Of course, it was because not. right. That's what Paul, Paul is right after fast. Make sure you run back to your wife, a wife, so that you are not tempted by the devil. Yeah. Yes. This. And so the enemy can cause you to do things that you thought that you would never do. Yeah. Especially fast mm-hmm. because he shows up. The mm-hmm. devil shows up. Mm-hmm. The name Satan means the resistor. He knows that God is about to move you to another level. Mm-hmm. So he will show up to resist you. Mm-hmm. Everyone that uplifted in this, in this kingdom. Mm-hmm. Everything that you see God is doing. is going to be Satan. Satan will one he way, one how. No, will resist you. There will be a temptation. Mm-hmm. There will be a resistance. Mm-hmm. Things are not just given. Why for things to happen? Okay. You know, I remember when we were first starting our, our church, it was a time that we, we felt the resistance of the enemy. What? Like Satan wanted to cripple, shout, and that was what, that was a test that we were supposed to pass. You know what? Instead of a documentary, 3 p.m. live, about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes of our journey. Into and they can ministry. make it a document. And they can make it a document. Right? <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. So there was a resistance. Uh, you know, the enemy came and attacked, but not knowing that God was about to take us to another level. And so but we stood in prayer and mm-hmm. fasting mm-hmm. And, 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 and everything overturned. Mm-hmm. I mean, God stepped in and we were able to push in the ministry and by God's grace. It wasn't easy, but grace made it easy, mm-hmm. and we we're able to get, get through it to this point. Mm-hmm. And so, everything that you see, it comes resistance. Mm-hmm. Okay. Every blessing that the Lord is going to release, mm-hmm. the enemy will some way somehow mm-hmm. showed up. And we saw it with Daniel after he prayed, God gave the response, and Satan said, "No, I'm not going to allow this thing to happen. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hinder it." And so, please be in a, in a please be ready. Always be ready. That is why you have to fight mm-hmm. for every prayer. Mm-hmm. Paul understood this. He said that this charge I commit unto you, my see, according to the prophecies that has gone ahead of mm-hmm. you, that thou by them, by, thou by them, war war a good, good warfare. War. Why do I have to war? Why this has to be a warfare? Because there's somebody called a resistor who will resist mm-hmm. the prophetic word. Mm-hmm. And so that is when you go into fast, go into prayer. Mm-hmm. Persistence will break resistance, mm-hmm. and 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 learning the word of God to overcome. It. Because one thing that I've realized is there's one thing that overcomes the devil. That is the word. Mm-hmm. Because everything that he will tempt you with, you better reply him with the word, else you will be defeated. Mm-hmm. You saw how Jesus dealt with him. He said, "It is written, it is written, men shall not eat by bread alone. You need to go." And then Jesus replied him by the word. You want me to now? And throw myself. And even Satan quoted a scripture. Mm-hmm. Imagine Satan giving you a scripture. Mm-hmm. And if you are not careful, you fall for it. Oh, the Lord even said. Like Eve. Yeah. He said, he said in, in verse 7 in, uh, in Matthew chapter 4, he said, Jesus said, and Satan said, uh, if thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. Mm-hmm. For it is, he is quoting the scripture here. Mm-hmm. It is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. Mm-hmm. And in their hands, they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Mm-hmm. Think about it. These are thoughts that was going through Jesus' mind. Some of you would have felt, say, you know what? <laughs> uh, the Bible said I can throw myself and angels will t- take hold of me. Mm-hmm. And you would have died. But Jesus came back with another word. With another word. And it is written again, thou shalt not the Lord thy God. Yeah. All right? So we got to know the word. This is the time... That we need the word. See why you, somebody will come and say something and you will get so mad and curse that person out mm-hmm. because you lack the if you lack If you know the word, you will know how to be patient. You will know how to not slide. Mm-hmm. All right? The word will help you mm-hmm. that this is not how, as a Christian, you should live. Mm-hmm. This is not how you should respond. Mm-hmm. Okay? You will then understand where the enemy is coming from. You yeah. don't retaliate. You don't respond to the enemy in a negative way. Mm-hmm. You kill soft and yes. turns away wrath. Wrath. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kill the enemy with your kindness. Mm-hmm. And and by doing that, you are dealing with the demon that is in that person, not the person itself. Yeah. And so after also temptation, you you have to know that there will be a sh- there will always be a shaking. And this shaking is not meant to shake you, but it's meant to get 
deeper because after you fasted, like pastors, you have to also continue on in the word of God. And most people don't like um, you were saying, most people say, oh, well, I prayed all the possibly pray all year. But the devil hasn't done everything he can do yet. And so he's going to continue, continue and continue and continue. So you have to be very, very vigilant enough, sober enough. And that's why I also think it's appropriate for people to have a prayer schedule as well. A prayer schedule is extremely important. I believe that we can pray all day the dishes while taking a shower you can pray you can do all that but you need to have at least one hour give God one hour of your day mm. see it as a tithe if anything give God at least one hour of, to really just commune with him in prayer to kononaya in prayer you know you have to make sure that you are are saying that this hour is meant mm. as a mom mine is more so a 3, p 3 a.m. kind of thing. That's when I go through all my children and pray for them individually because that's when God wakes me up. He knows that I have any other time to do it. And so this is the time. That's the time I pray for my husband. And so I have any time I realize that I'm not doing that then things are going astray. Yet around 3 o'clock, I was literally praying for all my kids, like back to back to back, that any spirit of disobedience, they don't have it. Should I wait until it presents itself before I start praying about it? Mm. And so if I have a time with God, God will literally start giving me pointers like here. I want you to tackle this. You cannot move lest we pray. And so the minute I start to pray that, Lord, cover them in area of any spirit that any of their classmates carry, then God is like, finally, me to come and do what I'm supposed to do. Mm. So when you don't have that prayer time, when you don't have that prayer, what you're doing is you are a thief. You're robbing God of his time. Mm. You have to get into a prayer schedule. Pray all day long. I pray for people all day long. Pastor does it all day long. That is why he designates 12 o'clock hour. Most of you who don't do, let's say you don't have any other time to pray. That midnight hour should be your like, that should be your covenant with God. At the very least, 2 a.m., I am setting this time apart to pray. Mm. And most of you, we've provided an avenue to be able to pray with us along with thousands and thousands of people, by God's grace, who knows, even of people, so that you can actually dedicate your one hour. But you still don't come. So what else do you want to do? God has made this generation so easy that we can connect with one another. You can dedicate that one hour to God. And some of you take it for granted. You want to lay down. You want to do this. You want to do that. Then you call or then you email. Then you text. And you say, oh, I was attacked. And I, Because you, hey, it. <laughs> you don't come on the line that is made available for you. Can you imagine? You are in a time where you can actually pray an hour. Even if you can pray an hour a day, you know how far you can go? That should be minimum the size for you. Minimum. At minimum. That 12 o'clock hour, don't take it for granted. You got to stay in prayer because Jesus said that men ought to pray. Mm -hmm. So don't say that I've prayed 12 hours, I've mm -hmm. prayed days, mm -hmm. so I'm done. The enemy is not done. Mm -hmm. Satan is preparing every day. The Bible mm -hmm. said that they don't sleep unless you to fall. Mm -hmm. So until they destroy you, they are not sleeping. Mm -hmm. So you, although yeah, you cancel some things, he's Thing. Mm -hmm. And so we need to make sure that we stay in prayer, stay in the spirit, mm -hmm. stay in alignment. Always make sure these once a week we are fasting mm -hmm. to prepare our spirit to be in alignment. Mm -hmm. So that when God says something, we'll be able to pick mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. Of being lazy, anytime you feel you see your spirit actually going down, is a time that you feel very lazy. Mm -hmm. You eating a lot, mm -hmm. um, you sleeping a lot, talking a lot, talking a lot. It's all your flesh taking over your, your whole being. Just say gossiping a lot. And gossiping a lot. Yeah. So those are things that are happening in your life. Mm -hmm. And so those are, when you see those things go into a fast, when you see that you are start, you start laughing the people, go into mm -hmm. a fast. Mm -hmm. When you see that you are start being mean to people, go into a fast. All the work of the flesh. Mm -hmm. And we need to suppress that flesh and cause that flesh to be quiet. And you see, the enemy's job and his will is to always curse you. He always wants you to walk curse. He always wants you to provoke something that will cause you to be in a curse. A curse finds its expression 
flesh. And so if you are a spiritual being, you should always be so much in the spirit that cannot afford for you to go into a curse. Mm. What do I mean by that? If you knew, know that you're an alcoholic, your grandfather was an alcoholic, the minute you stop being in the spirit, the minute you stop being about things, guess what? Your flesh will naturally desire some alcohol because that thing is a it transfers and translates itself from person to person to person. And so your flesh will now begin your alcohol, and before you know it, you will be walking under the same curse that your father, your brother, your great-grandfather did, all because you allowed your flesh to manifest. Mm. This is why it's extremely important that at least that one hour of the day you are praying. Don't take that for granted. Mm. That talk hour, for some of you, it's 5 a.m. where you are. Some of you, it's 4 a.m. where you are. When we have 12, midnight, you better take that one hour and say that as everyone is bombarding heaven, as everyone is asking God to come and, and have his hand destroy the works of the enemy, 12 o'clock hour for us, that's the witching hour. That's the, the hour that the enemy is literally like sending out a song. Like, okay, I need you to go to this house tonight, and I need you to enter this person's dream. I need you to go here, and that car crash, I need you to go put it under her car for tomorrow morning because she doesn't pray anyway before she drives the car. Those are all ways. And so if your flesh allows it to always walk under a curse. Mm, mercy. Yeah. Mercy. You need to stay in the spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have about 500 people on live right now, but mm -hmm. prayer time, you only see half. Mm -hmm. That means that half of you have not been praying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then when those mm -hmm. are coming, you have nobody to blame by yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, anytime you fast, uh, pick some kind of ma a major event. Mm -hmm. mo Satan will some way, somehow, mm -hmm. uh, there will be a challenge that you're going to have to overcome. Mm -hmm. And anytime you overcome that challenge, it takes you to the next. Uh, we saw that with Jesus uh, when he took the, the three, mm -hmm. Peter, James, took them to the, the mountain of transfiguration. Mm -hmm. What happened is that they experienced God much mm -hmm. over there that when they descended, they mm -hmm. came and they met and uh, something. Mm -hmm. uh, there was an issue with the other disciples that Jesus had to address. Mm -hmm. All right? Can you imagine now an encounter to, with God and then you descending down mm -hmm. and you think that everything is fine? Meet your disciples, and they have an issue. Mm -hmm. What was the issue? And uh, uh, somebody has brought their child to them, mm -hmm. heal that mm -hmm. child, and they couldn't heal the child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And so Jesus then had to uh, pray for that child. It was a big challenge because they didn't understand why they were casting out the demon, mm -hmm. and the demon was not gone. The demon was still hanging around. Amen. And that could be found in Matthew chapter 17, uh, verse 14. Going, um, I, I know I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you will see from here, the Bible says that, the Bible said that when they were come mm -hmm. to, multi, uh, to the multitude, they came to him, a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, mm -hmm. for he is lunatic solve, and so vexed. For oftentimes mm -hmm. he falleth into the and off okay. into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they couldn't him. Can you imagine how embarrassing that mm -hmm. is? The man he said, I have brought it to your people that you are trained, that you give me power to. But he couldn't kill this guy. Jesus. And Jesus said, Why are these guys embarrassed so much? Lord, help us. All right. The Lord just affirmed me. He just recommended one that they should hear. And my people that I'm training mm. are not able to heal. So it was a big Jesus here. And Jesus answered and said, Oh, faithless mm. and perverse. He started going for them now. He said, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I for you? Mm -hmm. So he just will say, I'm suffering. You guys are causing me to suffer. He said, bring him hither to me. Let's rebuke the devil. And he departed out of him. And the child was healed from that very hour. And the amazing thing is that, <laughs> okay, let's read. He said, then the disciples, came, uh, disciples, then came the disciples to Jesus. And said, why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto him, unto them, because you are unbelief, unbelief, number one. So unbelief is a reason why we don't, we are not able to do things or mm. receive things from the Lord, right? Number two, he said, for me, I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of, of mustard seed, ye shall see this mountain, remove hands 
to the yon, to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing impossible unto you. Mm-hmm. How be it this kind goeth not by prayer yeah. and fasting? Yeah. So, which means that prayer and fasting enhance belief. Mm-hmm. No, it actually enhance our belief. Our yeah. belief. Mm-hmm. It makes us believe. Or it cures our own belief. So, the whole thing about prayer and fasting being aligned is that we align belief mm-hmm. in God so that you can receive, so that you can cure, mm-hmm. so that you can cast the devil. A spiritual account of power. Yeah. It empowers you mm-hmm. to be, because if, he said that if you believe, all things are possible. So the whole idea is for us to believe. Mm-hmm. And we are not, uh, anytime we are in the flesh, it's, mm-hmm. we find it very difficult to believe. Mm-hmm. Fasting actually helps us mm-hmm. to believe in Christ. Amen. And so here, Jesus said that this kind go and not, except by prayer and fasting, because prayer and fasting will help you believe and cast out that demon. All right? Yeah. yeah. And so these are some of the challenges that uh, every time that you go into a fast, Jesus now has fasted. And this is one of the challenges that he faced mm-hmm. with his own people. They couldn't do what he told them to do. And so he was embarrassed. Yeah, how embarrassing is that? And that and that's why, you know, even parents think about it. You know you've taught your children well. You've taught them how to do certain and then you send them away and they come and be a disgrace to you. That is very amazing. That is why as a follower of Christ, it would be very, very bad for us. To always be fasting, always be so-called praying, and we have no understanding of the all. We have no no decorum on how to act as a Christian. People will come and now tarnish this Christianity because of behavior, because of what you said, because of how you acted. That's why you always, as a child of you have a responsibility not to react to certain things, not to just go for certain things because you carry the name of Christ at this point. And so what you do affects so much. And that's why if you know you are called, you better start getting together. Yes, there will always be people who don't like you, who think that you're acting like you're all this and blah, blah, blah. But you owe it to the Christ saved you at the very, to, to carry his name well. To be a person who does not look tattered important if you were to go to a wedding you would dress up and look nice but when you come to church it's an excuse to look anyhow and to look rubbish and this and that all in the name of come as I am no we owe it to ourselves actually to make sure that we carry Christ accordingly in all areas how embarrassing was it for him I'm sure for the disciples who have followed him not to be able to do this and the man kind of brought it up. Your people couldn't yeah. cast this guy, this yeah. thing out. We've been here for 10 days. We've been here for the... They've been casting this thing out. It's not going. And so that also helps us that if you have deliverance, the demon is not going. Mm-hmm. That means you got to go back in prayer and also in what? In fasting. Mm-hmm. Anytime you go into prayer and fasting, you build up more power. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it gives you more dynamics. Mm-hmm. So when you speak, the demons will, what, will move. All right? they Demons, oh, yeah. no. How many times have we, like, casted out demons and some from yonder would come and the demon would be like, sit down. I'm not scared of you. These two people, but you, I don't care about you. I remember one time we were casting out a demon at a pro and the man of God <laughs> decided <laughs> that he wanted to enter into the chat. And he said, puke, you say, and the demon literally stopped acting a fool and was like, sir, I know you. You hold no power. These two, I'm actually scared of, but you go sit somewhere because you were just with me. Like, no. Whoa. Yeah. Jesus you, you can't. You can't You can't play the spirit realm because you yeah. play yourself. I mean, everything is wide open in the spirit realm. Mm-hmm. Right? You can't lie in the spirit. <laughs> All right? You can't say, I'm this. Demons will embarrass you. Because you will be exposed. Yeah. That is why this work is a... <laughs> It's a work of power. Even one time, I remember people at a program resisting um, somebody who was getting delivered. And the person holding, one of the usher people, <laughs> literally, the demon was like, off of me. Like, you you are with me. Get off of me. Why are you holding me? I was like, well, okay. Mildly. Mildly. <laughs> demon never embarrassed you. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. 
Now, also we saw the story of uh, how Moses went to fast 40 days and coming back, the people that he went to take the, get the things for mm -hmm. were already set worshiping another God. Mm -hmm. Imagine, like you waited 40 days for an instruction for these people, and then you come, and they are out there messing themselves up, sacrificing and doing all kinds mm -hmm. of things and worshiping a different God. Wow. That, you know, it was an attack. Just did not react well. He actually react with anger. And so he had to go back for another to receive the Ten Commandments. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that is why we need to be, we need to check the way we react to it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, if you look at that story in Genesis chapter, Exodus chapter 32, you saw God was even angry, angry. before Moses came yeah. down. And Moses was more at peace, was more calm, mm -hmm. and told the Lord to even repent for mm -hmm. what he was going to do to them. Mm -hmm. He was down, and he got caught up. Mm -hmm. And he got so angry that he broke the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. and, and, and lost it. Mm -hmm. So he had to go back. All right? You have to be careful. Anytime you come, the enemy will find some way mm -hmm. to tempt you. He knows your, the, your weakness, mm -hmm. and that is the area he will tempt you at. Yeah, I really believe that people's, because you know, we all got a few angels. Some people's angels be sitting there like, when's she going to behave so that I can be deployed and be a blessing? Or when he going to get his life together so I can actually come and do what I'm supposed to do? I really physically can see angels most of the time sitting there bored, just talking fingers, swinging their legs, mm. like, when when will she get it together? Like, I've already been deployed to come and be a blessing to her, but she's not doing what she's supposed to do to let me enter. She's not praying, fasting. She's not doing what she's supposed to do. So how can I be a blessing? Somebody needs an angel. Those of you who draw, actually draw an angel sitting there with their backpack. Like, when when you going to get it together? And send it out to everybody. Yeah, you got to get it together because we act... Um, we got to be very spiritual, mm -hmm. especially the reason why we are having this is we, we want to be very spiritual mm -hmm. because the enemy will come and come in different ways. Come through your boss, come through your mother, your father, mm -hmm. will come through your spouse, will come through your children. You got to be highly spiritual, not mm -hmm. to react because reaction means that he bought the blessing. The, the devil wants you to abort it. Mm -hmm. He wants you to just get it all up. And so make sure that you are not reacting, but be very spiritual. Mm -hmm. Reacting, but re be, be very, very spiritual. Mm -hmm. All right? Even if you're having dreams, pray. Because the enemy wants to come and just um, just, just um, loot your spirit. And so you need to start praying more. And stop waiting for always an interpretation. You wake up and you don't feel right about a dream. You get up and you dismantle whatever the enemy is for your life, whatever happened, whatever interpretation, you can pray it from God. So stop being lazy about your spiritual walk. You guys always want a car and a house and a husband and a wife. You need to receive some spiritual things to get more hungry for the things of the spirit. Amen. Yep. Amen. I got to go pick up my kids. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, Paul, Paul also fasted 14 days for the on his way, on his journey to Rome. Mm -hmm. And what happened is that um, right after that, there was a... Mm -hmm. And so, yes, fasting and praying, sometimes mm -hmm. after that, you go through some challenges. Mm -hmm. and along with it. And so don't say that, oh, I fasted, I pray, why are we seeing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to go through some kind of shipwreck. You're going to go through some kind of challenge. It's part of the reality from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. uh, but stand. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're able to stand to the end, mm -hmm. you will be saved that will endure to the end shall be saved. Mm -hmm. If you're able to endure and, and go through it without reacting, the enemy is doing, but be more spiritual and be more prayerful, mm -hmm. and uh, you will see at the end of the day, you will be the one smiling. Mm -hmm. All right? Amen. Amen. So. It's so in this day and age, but in the kingdom, Praising Jesus' name Head of the household is far design Some people say they're even harder to find There must be some kingdom men Inside this crazy world Men with dreams, with visions to see Started chasing after destiny A 
a pasta dumb and not the men can walk you through. It's a rare condition that age funding the kingdom, praising Jesus' name. And also, it's God's design. Some people say they're even harder to find. Well, then there must be some kingdom inside this crazy world. Mary, with visions to see, loving God and chasing after destiny. It's a rare condition, this day and age, but in the man, praising Jesus' name. Head of the household, it's God's design. Some people say they're even harder to find. Well, there's been some kingdom men inside this crazy world. Men with dreams, with visions to see, loving God and chasing after destiny. A pasta dime and not the men can walk you through Turn the open. It's a rare condition This day and age But in the kingdom Is in Jesus' name Head of the household It's God's design Some people say it's harder to find Well then there must be some men Inside this crazy world Men with dreams, with visions to see Loving God and chasing after the need It's a kingdom man He carries his cross and walks with Christ It's a kingdom man He has a true, true heart of sacrifice It's a kingdom man He is a lion that runs Praise the Lord, praise the kingdom men, kingdom men. Today, if you are seeing me, I'm coming for the men. Uh, God is called to meet one more time. This year, we met twice already. The third time is coming up, November 4th to November 6th. I want to invite all men across the world to come together here in Darien, Connecticut, our new location. Uh, why God we got to get together? Because the posterity of our generation depends on men. The idea of our generation depends on men. If the men are not getting together to know what God wants us to do, we will lose our generation. God wants men to come together. And so if you are hearing me, God has mandated you to be here with us on this November 4th to the 6th. Kingdom men, let us begin to arise. Let us begin to arise. Any women that are crying out for men like you to arise. And so please make sure you come because the next thing is depending on you. Go online right now, go to our page and register. Be part of it. Invite anyone that you know. Invite your friends, invite your uncles, your fathers, your nephews, uh, and also your cousins. Let them be part of this because their lives will never be the same. God bless you in our this conference.
keep praising you yet no work sums you up then the Lord what name feeds you and he said yeah generations after generations he prayed I'm sorry. 